So I was recently asked, how has neurofeedback changed my work as a therapist? That's an excellent question. Because up until I started incorporating neurofeedback into my practice, arousal regulation was the missing piece. And arousal is just a, a, a fancy term for activation. But if your nervous system activation or arousal is either too high or too low, your brain is not going to function optimally. And you're going to be more likely to rely on old, unhelpful responses, impulsive responses. In graduate school, I learned all these interesting theories about what helps people change. But it wasn't until I started working with my friend, colleague, and mentor, Dr. Ed Hanlon, that I learned that all brain operations really depend on good arousal regulation. And most of us know these days that the human nervous system, it prioritizes survival over everything else. But what that means in practical terms is that we as humans are more wired for warfare than for love. But as Sturgill Simpson says, love is the only thing that ever saved my life. That's what all our wise spiritual leaders have been trying to tell us over millennia, that we have to get out of the kill or be killed mindset if we're going to thrive as humans. And I think it's safe to say, at least in neuroscientific terms, that every psychological disorder can be boiled down to a failure of the frontal lobe to inhibit limbic activity. This can be because the limbic activity is either too strong or the frontal lobe is too weak, but the frontal lobe is in charge of all the good things about being human. Empathy, impulse control, delaying gratification, good judgment, learning from past experiences and foreseeing consequences in the future. That's all really important stuff. And if, we, if we're not only going to survive, but thrive as humans, we have to get out of the survival mode. And arousal regulation is the only way that that's going to happen. That's what neurofeedback gives us. And that's the missing piece that we need before anybody can really benefit from all our fancy psychological theories. And now I know neurofeedback is not the only way people can learn to regulate their arousal better. But in my personal and professional experience, it's the fastest way. And I'm not sure about you, but I think time is of the essence now. If we're going to make personal changes, local changes, and global changes, improved arousal regulation is the key. And neurofeedback is, is the best tool I've found to make that happen.